Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back uh, to this course on uh, stereochemistry and during the last few uh, lectures we have been discussing the conformation analysis of cyclohexane systems, the monosubstituted, the disubstituted and then we went to a bicyclic system that was the decaline system. Okay. Uh, today we will discuss conformation analysis of some special molecules. Why are they special? Because they do not follow the, uh, the, the rules that we have seen uh, so far that is in a cyclohexane system the groups always tend to prefer uh, the equatorial orientation if it is available. Sometimes uh, there may be a competition between groups, but it is the bulkier groups then will occupy the equatorial position. And, um, but there are certain molecules where uh, this type of uh, simpli simplified um, <coughs> concept may not hold. Okay. Now, <coughs> before going into the this some special molecules, let us again just have a quick revisit of what we uh, ended up uh, last time. That is, we were discussing the conformation analysis of cis and trans decaline that is a bicyclic system and we have seen that the trans isomer is a rigid molecule which cannot be flipped because the hydrogens at the ring junction has to be they have to be uh, always in the axial position with respect to both the rings. Okay. So, they are axial and the, the ring bonds are equatorial. The reason for this rigidity is that if you want to flip then it will not be possible the hydrogens will occupy the equatorial positions and it is not possible to make a cyclohexane out of two axial carbons. Okay. So, it is not possible to connect these two carbons with only two carbons in hand. Okay. That is why flipping is not allowed. Whereas, in the cis decaline system you have flexibility and so it can flip. It can flip from this form to another form which was the we have shown like cis 1 to dimethyl cyclohexane uh, that will be the mirror image of this form and so that makes it a non resolvable TL pair. We have also seen the energy difference between the two there are three additional gauche between interactions in this system. So, that is making it unstable by an amount of 2.7 kilocalorie per mole. So, that is all about the bicyclic system. Uh, if we find time later on we can work out uh, some problems uh, on the bicyclic involving the conformations of bicyclic cyclohexanes, bicyclic cyclohexanes like decalins. Okay. Now, let us consider systems where the, the groups uh, occupy not the equatorial preferred equatorial position, but we will go to the axial position uh, because of some other factors. Okay. One example I have given to you and that was that if you have this molecule a cis 1 to diol cis 1 3 diol uh, diol that is cis cyclohexane 1 3 diol. Now, this the expected conformer is this one uh, if it if you want to maintain the beta orientation then it should be placed here and the other one should be placed here. Okay. So, this is the expected preferred conformation, but what happens because of the presence of possibility of intramolecular hydrogen bond. So, this molecule flips and 
the weights now will be in the actual position ok. So, one weight here and the other weight will be here. So, now you see there is hydrogen bond between this hydrogen and the oxygen or the other way around. So, this is now significant present in significant amount. Another system I told last time I think I so far as I remember it has been told that if you have 1 to dihalo compounds then also 1 to dihalo compounds then due to dipole dipole repulsion in the trans compound the preferred conformation uh, if it is methyl if x is methyl this will be the preferred conformation but if x is halogen then because of the repulsion between these two delta negatively charged x so it will now tend to flip and will be present in substantial amount in this form okay where the two x's are far apart so these are examples where the groups uh, occupy significantly or the conformation where the groups are in the actual position are present in significant amount. And there are certain other driving force earlier we have seen only the steric and the torsional strain. Now, we are bringing in some other parameters like intramolecular hydrogen bond or dipole dipole repulsion that uh, stabilizes or that destabilizes the sometimes destabilizes the diacritorial system sometimes stabilizes the diaxial system. Okay. Now, these are some of the examples there are other examples like suppose I have a tertiary butyl group which is which we know that it is a very bulky group a tertiary butyl cyclohexane. Now, we know that in tertiary butyl cyclohexane the only possible conformer is this because it is the big group tertiary butyl and it will occupy the equatorial position. Now, this system is also regarded as a conformationally rigid system. Conformationally rigid system. Why? Because if you want to flip it, what is conformationally rigid where flipping is not possible. Okay. So, if you want to flip it, the problem is that this will now occupy an axial orientation which is not possible because of enormous steric interaction with this 1 3 diaxial hydrogens. So, this is not permissible in case of tertiary butyl cyclohexane. So, this is a nice way to lock the conformation of a cyclohexane in the chair form. Okay. Now, suppose I have di tertiary butyl. Now, instead of 1 tertiary butyl, if I have a di tertiary butyl 1 4 system like this and this is the trans form. Okay. This is the trans di tertiary butyl cyclohexane. So, this is beta that is alpha. So, what will happen now? This there is no problem here because both the tertiary butyl group can occupy the equatorial positions because this is beta that is this one and this is alpha that is this one. So, that is the most stable and this is also conformationally locked system, but if I change this into also the cis form. So, suppose I consider the the conformation of the cis form then the problem is I have no other choice, but to put one of the tertiary butyl in the axial position. Okay. So, both are beta. So, one is 1 4 beta means one is equatorial another is axial. So, that is not now the problem is I said that you cannot put a tertiary butyl in the axial position because of enormous 1 3 diaxial interaction. So, this will not stay in this chair form. So, this is one of the few examples where it will be present not in the boat form, but in the twist you know that twist boat, boat form is another conformation available another conformer available for the system. And so far we have not considered the twist boat because most of the molecules that we have discussed 
remain in the chair form. But this is a molecule where because of their steric disposition, because they are cis and because you are forced to put one tertiary butyl in the axial position, if you adopt a cyclohexane chair, then it, it prefers not to do that and rather have a twist boat conformation where both the both the di tertiary butyl groups occupy the equatorial position at the flagpole carbons. Remember these are the flagpole carbons, these are the flagpole hydrogens. We know that in the in the boat form or in the twist boat form there is this eclipsing interactions between these uh, between these carbons and these carbons because this is the if you look through these carbons you see that these are these carbon is eclipsing this carbon carbon bond this carbon carbon bond is eclipsing this one and this carbon carbon bond is eclipsing that one. So, because of the eclipsing interactions the boat or the twist boat is less stable than the chair form, but here that instability is overcome by the instability of the 1 3 diaxial interaction involving tertiary butyl. So, this prefers uh, the twist boat conformation. this is cis. If you want to correctly draw this, then you have to do the inverted one, because in order to make them beta, because the way I have drawn it is alpha now, but actually this molecule both are beta. So, better put this is the correct diagram of this, although both are same because they are uh, they are symmetrical. They have a plane of symmetry passing through the 1 and 4 carbon atom. So, it does not matter whether you write this or write that, but since you have done both you have put both the tertiary butyl in the beta position. So, I I can draw it in this fashion also. Remember these two occupy the equatorial position okay, leaving the flagpole hydrogens intact. So, this is a molecule where boat form is uh, is boat form is is the favored one. Okay. So, I think I have some examples where of conformationally rigid systems like here is an example of if I want to draw the uh, conformation of tertiary butyl cyclohexanol 4 tertiary butyl the PAC nomenclature will be 4 tertiary butyl cyclohexanol this is the number 1 carbon. Now, this is cis compound. So, you have to put the first you draw the chair form the way to do it is first you draw the chair form and then put the tertiary butyl in the equatorial position and beta. Okay. So, that is one of the position you can select you can select other positions, but this is the common practice that to put the tertiary butyl at this end. So, it makes it beta as well as equatorial. Now, this is your number 1 carbon. So, you are now forced to put the hydroxy to make it beta, you are forced to put it in the axial position. Okay. So, this is how to draw the conformation of this and then if you want to draw the conformation of the trans one, what you need to do is just to put the weight in the equatorial that is the alpha equatorial position. Okay. This is the example I was talking about if you have di tertiary butyl 1 4 di tertiary butyl cyclohexane then you are forced to put one of the tertiary butyl group in the in the axial position. So, instead it adopts this is the other way to, to draw the twist boat conformation I think this is a better way uh, of drawing it, uh, but this is also perfectly okay if you write twist boat. Okay. And uh, these two di equatorial uh, di uh, tertiary butyl substituents are in the equatorial positions, I said leaving the flagpole hydrogens uh, intact. Now, remember why twist boat is a conformer and not the boat? This is because in the twist boat, these hydrogens are not that close, unlike in the boat form. So, the boat is slightly twisted so that the flagpole hydrogens. Uh, interaction is little bit less. Okay. There are other molecules I can I can uh, show you. So, this is the is the locking group write the preferred conformation. So, there is a problem of uh, this molecule this is uh, also called uh, neomenthal. Okay. Neomenthal, but the name is not that important let us do this problem. Okay. The problem is that how to draw the preferred conformation of this molecule. Okay. 
again I look at the molecule. So, this is methyl beta, then you have a hydroxy alpha and you have a isopropyl, you have a isopropyl at the beta position. Okay. So, suppose this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5 carbon, this is 6 carbon. So, now to draw the conformation of this, you draw the chair form. Okay. You put the if you, you put the groups, suppose this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, look at the 1 carbon. So, there is a hydroxy and that is alpha. So, the hydroxy now has to be alpha equatorial. At the 2 position, there is this isopropyl which is in the beta orientation. Okay. So, this is also equatorial and now at the 5 position, you have a methyl which is beta. So, you have no other option but to put the methyl group at the axial position. Okay. So, this is one of the conformation. Now, if you flip it, you always try to write the flip form and if you flip it, so it will undergo a mirror, it will undergo this type of chair. So, it will be converted to this type of chair which is the mirror image chair and then you have to be careful put the number where the carbons ended up after flipping. This is 1, that is 2, that is 3, that is 4, 5 and 6. Now, at 1, which is alpha equatorial, now it is alpha axial. At 2, it is beta, isopropyl was beta uh, equatorial, now it is beta axial and the methyl will be beta equatorial. So, you can see that uh, you can from the from looking at this two conformations carefully, you can tell which one is more preferred because this contains this bulkier isopropyl in the equatorial position as compared to the methyl that is number 1 and this also puts the wheat in the equatorial position. In this conformation, the bulkier group is in the axial position and wheat is also in the axial position. So, this will be the preferred conformation. Okay. Uh, this will be in the preferred conformation. So, there are molecules where the methyl uh, takes up takes up the axial position and the reason I brought this is uh, this will uh, also is a practice session that how to draw the uh, draw the conformation of a particular system. So, this is the the slide that represents the favored one is this and the unfavored one is the one where the isopropyl is in the axial position. Moreover, here the wheat is also in the axial position. So, you have a double benefit here this is equatorial and the wheat is also equatorial. Now, these examples I think uh, we have already um, already worked out some of these uh, some of these problems that cis 1 to uh, cyclohexane diol then trans 1 to cyclohexane diol. Uh, so, if you are asked to draw the preferred conformation and which one is reversible uh, resolvable and which one is non resolvable which one is uh, truly a meso compound which ones are uh, optically active. So, uh, what you have to do? You have to draw the, the conformations. This is like the very similar to your 1 to dimethyl system. So, they will exist in these two forms, uh, but interestingly this is the mirror image of the other one and the relationship is that they are easily convertible by flipping. So, they are non resolvable, they remain as non resolvable TL pair just like your cis compound. This is the trans compound the trans dial obviously, this one is the uh, is the major conformer because both the hydroxyl groups are uh, in the equatorial position and and there is a possibility of hydrogen bond of course, between this oxygen and the hydrogen or this oxygen and this hydrogen. So, this is the trans compound it is a op, it is an optically active compound here the mirror image is non superimposable with this uh, the original one. So, they are uh, resolvable. And if you take the, the trans compound, the trans 1 3 system, now as I told you in trans 1 3, this has got considerable uh, amount, this also exists where the both the hydroxy are in the diaxial position because of the intramolecular hydrogen bond that also exists in significant proportion. And uh, this is the this is the 1 4 system, 1 4 system. Uh, you can have two either the trans or the cis 
obviously the trans will be more stable because the weights are both in the di equatorial position and this one is the flip form of this but because of the two hydroxy groups are axial so that is not the favored one this is the favored one and here only one option so you have uh, one axial one equatorial even if you flip this now this will become equatorial and that will become axial but these two will be identical now how can i very quickly say that they are identical because there is a mirror plane passing through c1 and c4 and containing this oxygen okay so a vertical uh, plane of symmetry is there passing through 1 and 4 so you cannot generate uh, a, a non identical molecule uh, by having the mirror image the mirror image has to be same as this one and uh, the flip form will be will be the same as this one here because one is axial another is equatorial so in the flip form the same relationship is there okay so this is now there are certain other molecules which are uh, special importance like which remain in the boat form like this molecule this is called the adamantine molecule in the ad adamantine molecule okay this is of course in the uh, these are all in chair conformation and uh, this is the special attraction where because of intramolecular hydrogen bonding this is a nitrogen substituted compound that means this is called pi pyridine if you reduce pyridine you have the six member ring with a nitrogen in the present in the uh, as a as a ring atom and then if you have a weight at the four position so then because of this intramolecular hydrogen bonding it exists in the in the boat conformation okay it exists in the uh, see you can say it's uh, boat at uh, the twist boat conformation to be to be correct okay it exists in the twist boat conformation so there are certain rigid molecules i have just for example i have shown certain rigid molecules these are uh, these are all locked in their conformations okay they cannot uh, uh, do any uh, movement as such okay because they want to try to once they try to move around uh, or rotate around bonds the bonds started breaking up okay so rigid molecules not like like this also i have uh, this molecule uh, exists in this diequatorial form this is a compound cyclohexane carboxylic acid with a three hydroxy group and if you want to do the lactonization between the OH and the CO2H remember this is lactone means intramolecular esterification if you try to do then this molecule has no other choice but to flip into the axial conformation and will form this lactone okay so uh, i think i gave you told you about this that if you want to form an anhydride out of a cis 13 cyclohexane dicarboxylic acid then what happens if you want to make, try to make the anhydride this has to the only option this has is to flip into the di into the diaxial position uh, diaxial flipped into the form where the dicarboxy uh, carboxylic groups are in the axial position and then they can form the anhydride okay and uh, this i have already shown that this is present as the intramolecular hydrogen bond okay i think we have uh, done on this conformation bicyclic systems we could have gone very far because there are uh, we can have two rings three rings four rings but that makes a uh, complicated and as as beginners i think uh, we should stop at the decaline stage and that exactly what i did the decaline have a quick brush up that there are this extra three uh, gauche butane interactions that are present in the cis form and thus the energy difference uh, between these uh, 2 is 2.7 here it is around 2.64 but actually if you take it 0.9 then that will be 2.7 kilocalorie per mole okay you could put a uh, methyl at the ring junction this is the trans compound and you can as a practice you can calculate how much energy it has over two cyclohexane chair forms because this is axial to both the rings so it will one axial methyl introduces two gauche butane interactions so this will be uh, one this methyl will definitely put because of the, there are two chair forms and with respect to both the chair forms this is axial so it will produce four gauche butane interactions and here uh, in the in the cis form this is the uh, this is axial to one of the rings that is this ring but it is equatorial considering the other ring so it will have uh, because it's a cis form first of all it has got this three 
uh, gauss butane interactions that is present in inbuilt in the cis decalin plus due to this methyl at the axial position with respect to this ring the right hand ring so it has got two extra gauss butane interactions so it has got five gauss butane interactions so now the energy difference between this trans and the cis in case of a uh, methyl at the ring junction of a decalin system that you see uh, has come down earlier it was 2.7 now it is only 0.9 kilocalorie per mole ok now let us so so far um, we have uh, we have actually other sorry we before we go into the uh, the other things let us still stick to the confirmation of certain other molecules where there is a uh, axial group uh, is is present in the insignificant amount one is one more example i gave you some examples see if you put a cyclo if you take a cyclohexane uh, and then put a carbonyl at the ring so it is a cyclohexanone okay now this system is quite interesting in cyclohexanone what happens there is a flattening because these carbons and the carbonyl are in a in a plane now in case of cyclohexane if i write the cyclohexane so these bonds are are not in plane with these two bonds but here now because of the existence of a pi bond so these pi bond this oxygen this carbon and this carbon they are in the same plane and as a result of that what happens this equatorial hydrogen is almost eclipsing this carbonyl so they are almost eclipsing this carbonyl i can show you in the model uh, i can show you in the model that if you put a carbonyl if you put a carbonyl in a cyclohexane so this is the system so this is the carbonyl this is the carbonyl carbon you can see that this is these carbon carbon bond this carbon carbon bond and the carbonyl they are in the same plane now uh, what happens this carbonyl is almost eclipsing the ch equatorial in the adjacent carbon and same is true on the other side so if it is the number 1 carbon 2 carbon 3 4 5 6 so it is the two equatorial hydrogens and the six equatorial hydrogen they are eclipsing this carbonyl now what is the consequence of this the consequence of this is that if you now put a group here if it is not hydrogen rather an alkyl group quite big an alkyl group much bigger than hydrogen so what happens now this alkyl group and the carbonyl will suffer from the uh, eclipsing interactions okay so as a result if it flips now the group goes to the axial position and now there is no longer the eclipsing interaction now the eclipsing interaction with the hydrogen not with this alkyl group ok so the eclipsing interaction reduces as a result there will be significant proportion of the alkyl group in the axial conformer ok so what i am saying that if you have instead of hydrogen instead of hydrogen now if you have an alkyl group here if you have an alkyl group so now there will be eclipsing interaction between these two as a result of which the percentage of as a result of which it flips and the r goes to the axial position and this is the hydrogen this hydrogen is eclipsing no doubt but because of the size of the hydrogen it is much smaller so this eclipsing interaction is less so this is this is much more eclipsing interaction interaction ok. So, as a result what happens there will be significant proportion of significant proportion of this conformation which was not expected in a cyclohexane system significant proportion of the axial conformer ok now this is what is called two alkyl ketone effect so what is two alkyl ketone effect it is the 
it is because of the eclipsing of the of the of the substituent at the two position and the carbonyl the substituent now prefers to prefers to adopt an axial orientation and this is what is called the two alkyl ketone effect similarly there is uh, like two alkyl ketone effect we have three alkyl ketone effect also now what is that three alkyl ketone effect is that if you have the alkyl group now in the three position and now if you invert if you do the flipping so what happens the alkyl group now occupies the axial position no doubt this is the carbonyl but you see that now in case of cyclohexane what happens an axial group suffers from two one three diaxial interactions this and that but one one three diaxial interaction is now is no longer there because, because there is no hydrogen here this is carbonyl which is pointing towards this direction so one of the so now it suffers only one diaxial interaction so as a result there will be significant amount of of axial conformer at the 3. So, when the substituent is placed at the 3 position, this is what is called 3 alkyl ketone effect. Okay. So, these are very basically very same that because due to these effects 2 alkyl or 3 alkyl, the alkyl group prefers uh, uh, significantly to adopt the axial orientation okay and this is uh, this is applicable at the two position also at the four position at the three position and uh, there is something which is called four alkyl ketone effect that is also there uh, we are not discussing right now we are just taking to two and uh, three alkyl ketone effect but remember there is a four alkyl ketone effect also where uh, it has been seen that the axial orientation is little bit uh, also uh, uh, gets little bit uh, favored as compared to a cyclohexane system. Remember, I am not saying that the axial conformer is the major conformer. What I am saying compared to a cyclohexane system, the axial conformer is much more. Okay. That is what is called the effect. Okay. Thank you.